Hello, here at WeatherDog for a new episode of Live Talk Technology from Franconia for the Seas of the World. Today we want to talk about the AIS mop device Easy to Mop, and especially we want to, we want to show you to demonstrate how the MMSI number of your DSC radio can be programmed from your smartphone into the rescue unit so in case of emergency the unit is activated automatically by water contact and starts transmitting DSC and AIS. The app is done by ourselves. It is available in both app stores for Apple Apple Play Store and also in Google Play Store and where to find exactly we have prepared a short video which we show you now. Just open the App Store, search for WeatherDog and then scroll down the list of apps until you find the easy to mop app, download it, install it and open it. And that's it. And I already have opened the easy to mop app and to connect the cell phone with the easy to mop unit you have to set the easy to mop into Bluetooth mode, which is done by pressing the test button for about three seconds until the test button is white illuminated. I demonstrate you. Pressing and nothing happens, which is totally okay because since 2023 there is a new rule, a new law, which means that every AIS mop device with DSC functionality needs to have a special function to deactivate all automatical functionality and all buttons and this is done with the yellow slider you see it's on the disarmed position which means everything is deactivated no pressing the button for bluetooth mode no automatical activation when submerged into the water and so on everything is deactivated for activating all these functionalities we have to slide the yellow slider with a little bit of pressure to the left into the armed position and now all the automatic activations are activated and also the button is activated and now I press the test button to set the unit into Bluetooth mode. Pressing and here you see the white light. Now the unit is into Bluetooth mode. And now I press the connect button in the app. Connection will be established between the two devices. It might take some seconds. Here we are, ready, pressing OK. You see battery status 100%. You see the production number of the unit. You see the MMSI number of the unit for transmitting into the AIS system. By pressing the the arrow on the right you get more information about uh, the battery status how many 
test cycles you can do battery level um, replace uh, date of replacement of the battery uh, date of expire of the battery and so on going back you see self test reports for more details when doing tests but we want to program the MRSI number of our DSC radio into the unit we press the plus button at mothership and now we can enter the number of our DSC radio 211002 Pressing OK, here you see there is a number, pressing save, ready. Now the MSI number of our DSC radio is programmed into the unit. You can program up to eight different MSI numbers of different vessels into the unit which uh, all will be alerted in case of emergency when testing the unit only the MRSI on top position will be alerted during test because of saving battery power. Now it's ready, I, pl I press disconnect, you will see the unit flashes to show you that the Bluetooth connection is disabled. Disconnect, blinking, everything is fine. And yeah, that's it. We are done. You saw how easy it is to program the MRSI number of your vessel, of the DSC radio of your vessel, into the EZ2 mob, that in case of emergency, when activated by water contact, your DSC radio is alerted within seconds to inform the rest of the crew that something happened. Thank you for watching and see you in one of the next videos for Live Talk Technology from Fragonia for the Seas of the World. Bye bye.